Hey guys, it's me, um, Randy. Hopefully this is, I got a better phone, so hopefully these videos are a little bit more clear than what I used to do on my tablet. Uh, let me shut this off really quick. Okay, so um, this is extremely important. I had felt led the other day to do a video about the Mark of the Beast, um, which I I was thinking, I'm like, really, Lord, should I really go? Well, not that he, I know he definitely wants us speaking out about it. I've always spoken out about it on my Facebook page. But it's extremely important now, um, especially with the new headlines. Uh, I think it was yesterday. It started yesterday. But I'm going to go ahead and pray. And um, and then I'm going to go ahead and uh, start talking about what the Lord wants me to talk about. So, Heavenly Father, Lord God, I just want to invite you into this video. And I pray, Father, that... Um, you will just speak through me, Lord. I pray, Father, that whoever is hearing this, whether it's now or in the future, that you will please speak to them, that you will give them eyes to see and ears to hear what you're trying to show and tell them, Lord. I pray, Father God, that this message will get out, that it will save souls, that it will awaken people who are sleeping, especially the sleeping Christians and the lost souls, oh, Father God. I pray, Lord, that... Um, you will use my mouth as a vessel. Let these be your words and not my words. And I thank you, Lord. And in Jesus' name I pray, amen. Okay, so if you hear my uh, a lot of noise in the background, um, that's my daughter. She's in here playing. We're in the playroom. Okay, so I want to talk about the mark of the beast, all right? So the mark of the beast, which I've been handing with a lot of brothers and sisters. I've been handing out flyers about the mark of the beast now for... Gosh, three years, four years, um, I've known about the Mark of the Beast and what it was since 2012 when the Lord really started calling me to Him and calling me um, to not be a lukewarm Christian. So um, as of yesterday, um, this is how I know that I really need to be speaking about this right now. God's time is extremely short. They used to hide this, right? But now, as you see, it's on, uh, I don't know if you can see this. Can you all see that? No, probably not. It's glaring. So anyways, it's on um, Fox Business. It's on BBC World News. It's all over Facebook about a Wisconsin computer company. Um, it says that a Wisconsin company is to implant micro trip, micro, microchips in its employees starting in August. Australia just is the first country to mandate a microchip as of this month to all of their citizens, newborn babies, everything. Time is so short. So this is the microchip. All right. This is the mark of the beast. All right. It is a little small microchip. Here is a grain of rice. This is the microchip. All right. A lot of people do know this. A lot of people will argue against it, but that's the grain of rice. And this is the mark of the beast. All right. This is going to go like the Bible says, whether it's in your right hand or in your forehead. And this also can be a possibility. It's definitely the microchip, but this also could be the tattoo of the beast. It's a small microchip tattoo that will go more than likely on your forehead and the microchip that I just showed you. The mark of the beast as well will probably will go in your in in your four hands right here. This is where they're gonna put it. A lot of people already have it in other countries in Europe, and uh, they've been doing that for several years now. So this is extremely important that the Lord wanted me to get this out. Um, and it's funny because I, he told me to kind of get this out a couple days ago. But when I saw that, I was supposed to be off Facebook starting today to spend time, more time with the Lord, be off Facebook for a while. But when I saw that last night, I'm like, my goodness, guys. Now, it was all over Fox News this morning. They are trying to condition the masses to get ready for this chip. Under no circumstances do you hear me. When everything hits the fan, you're going to have to take this chip to get food, to get water, to get shelter. They're going to want you to go to FEMA camps, which are basically going to be concentration camps like it was back with um, in the Hitler days. And they're going to take you and they're going to promise you food. They're going to promise you water. They're going to promise you and, you know, if you have older children over the age of accountability and they were left behind, they're going to promise you and your family that if you get on these buses or in these vans, that they're going to take you to a FEMA camp and they're going to promise you all these things. And what it is, is these are concentration camps to be tortured, to be starved, to be worked as slaves, to be forced to take the mark of the beast. If you do not, you are going to get your head chopped off, but it's not going to be that easy. You're going to be tortured. You're going to be going through innumerable amounts. Of Hi. That's my daughter. Baby, give me a minute, okay? You're going to be going through innumerable amounts of pain. Right? I'm, going, not... I'm going to Jesus last weekend. Bye, Dad. We are going with Jesus. Praise the Lord, baby. So, excuse me, guys. So, um, that's what that's what he wanted me to come on and talk about. There is no more time to play now that it's all... This is a Cheeto. Shh. 
now that we are now it used to be behind the scenes they had an rfid chip commercial back in the day you know several years ago but now it is on the forefront i'm telling you i wanted to make a video earlier but outside outside right the chemtrails were covering the whole sky usually it's over the like the sun and stuff you see I, literally i could not see even see the blue sky today that is how bad it was there is something coming i don't know i feel it i don't know if it's the rapture and and that's what's going to kick all this off you know with the world war three and martial law and all this stuff i don't know if there's like an incoming we just had a really really bad solar blast off of the sun uh as of yesterday um that's coming towards us a powerful cme i don't know if it's going to cause an emp i don't know what's going to happen but something is going to happen if you are not not right with the Lord Jesus Christ. If you are living in sin, if you are having sex outside of marriage, if you are doing drugs and alcohol, if you are living a filthy life, if your mouth is filthy, if your thoughts are filthy, whatever is going on in your life right now, and you know you're watching things that are filthy, you are listening to things and, and watching things that don't glorify God, that you know if Jesus was not right there next to you and he wouldn't watch it or listen to it or read it with you, and you know that, repent today is a day of salvation there is no more time time is extremely short the mark the antichrist is here i i, I know i believe i know with many others who the antichrist is i'm not going to say it because people are going to think i'm crazy and uh but it's really not that hard to figure out who the antichrist is he was here he's the I forgot which uh, scripture it was, but he's the king that was and is no more and is coming back again. I believe that's in Isaiah or Jeremiah. I don't know. Correct me on that one. But anyways, I wanted to read really quick. Let me show the mark of the beast again for those who do not know and watch this. Like, this is the mark of the beast. The RFID chip that was on the news today that a company, a computer company in Wisconsin is going to chip all of their employees. And these people are just lining up. Who in God, why would you put something in your body at all? It does just to have convenience. So, and what they're going to do, this is what they're going to do, guys. When everything hits the fan is they're going to mandate this chip, which is the mark of the beast. Exactly. Revelation 17, which I was just about to read. Praise God. They are going to mandate this when everything hits the fan. And they're going to tell you, you have to have this because all your medical records are going to go on this. It's going to be so, you know, so much more convenient. Your bank statements, a, a, a direct link to your bank and your money, all you're going to have to do is take this chip and, you know, swipe your hand in front of doors and swipe your hand if you want to pay for things, food, whatever it may be. Oh, it's going to be so convenient. And then they're also going to, you know, try to say it's for people's health. You know, if you're in an emergency situation and an ambulance gets called, then you're going to, you know, all they have to do is, you know, just, you know, you know, scan your little chip and all your medical records is going to save people's lives. Bull crap. That is a lie from the pit of hell from Satan himself. Do not ever put anything in your body. Do not ever let anybody implant anything on top of your skin. It, this is... This is what they're also going to do. I believe this is what's going to go on the forehead. Because if you think about it, people putting a chip on the inside, there's like no skin there. You know what I'm saying? To like, I'm, I'm pretty sure it could be done, but there's no really skin there. The Bible says that the mark of the beast will go on the forehead or in the right hand. I believe the chip is going to go in the right hand. This microchip is going to go in your right hand. It's almost as big as a grain of rice. That's a grain of rice, right? But I believe this is what's going to be on the forehead. It's a little tattoo, a microchip, all right, tattoo that is going to go right on your forehead. Because I don't think they're going to be able to get that chip in there, but they could. I mean, I don't want to be, you know, assuming things because I'm pretty sure it can be done. Under no circumstances, do you, if you find yourself left behind after the rapture happens and you're starving, right? And, you know, you're around your family. I mean, they're going to use everything against you. If you say you're not going to take this mark, they're going to kill your family in front of you. Under no circumstances do you take that mark. I don't care if they're going to kill your kids. I don't care if they torture your family or your kids in front of you. I do not care. They will go to heaven for denying, for being killed for Christ. You do not take this mark. I don't care if you are in a concentration camp after the world is in chaos and you are starving. You are dying of thirst. They are beating you up. They have cut off your fingers and your toes and broken your arms and your legs. 
do not under any circumstance do you take this mark of the beast do you understand time is so short jesus is coming it is on national news bbc news Fox News about that company, guys. They are conditioning the masses. They are not hiding it anymore. Jesus is coming. If you find yourself left behind, please let me read the word of God. All right. Um, what? <sighs> so I'm, I'm chapter 13. I'm I know hungry. there's also, okay, baby. Mommy's about to cook Can dinner. Get some, get some crackers? No, no crackers before dinner. Okay. So, um, I'm just gonna, um, <laughs> I'm just going to um, read chapter 13, starting, um, starting at verse 11. Then I saw another beast coming up out of the earth, and he had two horns like a lamb, and he spoke like a dragon. And he exercises all the authority of the first beast in his presence and causes the earth and those who dwell in it to worship the first beast. The first beast is the Antichrist. The second beast is the false prophet. We already know who the false prophet is. That's the Pope, um, Pope Francis, who just came out, I think, a week or two ago and said that having a personal relationship with Jesus Christ is should not happen, that we don't need it, and that it's unlawful. He is, oh, he's disgusting. Okay, so the first beast is the Antichrist, and the second beast is the false prophet of Revelation, which is Pope Francis. And he causes the earth and those who dwell in it to worship the first beast, whose deadly wound was healed, his head wound was healed. He performs great signs so that even he makes fire come down from heaven on the earth and in the sight of men. And he deceives those who dwell on the earth with those signs, which he was granted to do in the sight of the beast, telling those who dwell on the earth to make an image to the beast who was wounded by the sword and live. And he was granted power to give breath to the image of the beast and the image of the beast should both speak and cause many as would not worship the image of the beast to be killed. Verse 16, here it is. He causes all, this is who is left behind. And there's going to be so many Christians left behind because they do not seek the wisdom and the knowledge of God. They are just living. And I, I was, I was victim to it. And sometimes I still fall victim to it, but I repent. All right. So he causes all both small and great, rich and poor, free and slave to receive a mark on their right hands. A mark on their right hand. It's not going to be a mark. It's not the number 666. It's not going to be some little number 666 on your hand. This is the mark of the beast. It's an actual chip. RFID chip right there. And he is going to cause all to receive a mark on their right hands or on their foreheads. This is also what could be on the foreheads. It's a microchip tattoo. That is just like a tattoo that boop. They're just going to tape it or glue it or state i don't know what they're going to do but it's not going to be able to come off right and okay and this is another thing praise god thank you holy spirit once you take this mark say you take it right and you're you're left behind say you take this chip this chip right here the mark of the beast they put it in your hand and a day later an hour later a couple weeks later whatever it may be a couple minutes later and you want to take it out right you're still going to go to hell. You want to know why? Because you have made that free will conscious decision to take the mark of the beast. Everybody, and I can understand people in other countries, like out in the jungles might not understand this because they don't have Bibles. Nobody might be able to preach the gospel to them. But here in America, you have no excuse. Europe, Australia, Canada, Mexico, we have no excuse. Do you understand? Russia, all, all of these people know. China, Japan, Korea, all North, South Korea, all, all of us, they all have Bibles. They, we all have had missionaries over there preaching the gospel and the word of God. You have no excuse. You you know dang well most people grow up in church and they you know part from it that Jossie what are you doing come here please now please hold on guys my daughter's getting into something Jossie L come here please now please give me give me one second Okay, I'm back. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's what happened when you have kids, right? So um, I rebuke Satan in the name of Jesus. He's trying to come against. He's trying to distract me. Um, where exactly was I? So we have no excuse, guys. We have no excuse in America. Everybody has heard about the mark of the beast. There is just, there's just no reason why any of us should take this mark. 
unless you're weak. You know, if you find yourself left behind, that is your fault. Do you understand? Why would you let somebody put something in your skin, in your body? No. Oh, but that, thank you, Holy Spirit. Woo! Why? Why on earth? If you put it, okay, if you put it, that's what I was talking about. If you put it in your body, you are not. Oh, let me see. Hold on cancel okay it you even if you wanted if you take it out you have made that free will choice have you ever thought about why god says in the bible why <laughs> why once you take that mark you can no longer go to heaven your prayers can no longer be heard and you can no longer repent it changes your dna once this is the mark of the beast right so that means this belongs to satan we are made in the image of god that's what the bible says we are all made in the image of god so if you take this mark right in your skin even if you take it out it will change your DNA. You are no longer made in the image of God. You are going to be made into the image of the serpent. You are no longer going to have the seed of Adam. You are going to have the seed of the serpent. So if you take this mark right here, right? If you take the mark of the beast, which is the RFID chip, and then you try to take it out, you are still not going to be able to repent. Your DNA will be changed. And I don't want to get too deep into it, but some people have even been prophetically through visions, been taken to the great tribulation and have seen what happens when somebody takes this chip. When somebody takes this mark, the Lord showed them and took them to the tribulation and showed them what happens. It is basically like you turn into a zombie. You um, totally become over to Satan. Your soul and spirit are completely darkened and there's no turning back. There's no turning back. Do you understand? So, gosh, time is short. You just don't understand how close we are to Jesus coming. You can call me crazy. I really don't care. If you're not walking close with the Lord, I don't care what your opinion is anyway. And I don't mean, mean to be harsh like that. But for those of us who are constant, we have been, God has been sending warnings for like the past three, four like strongly for the past three or four years to get ready, to prepare, to stop sinning, to give your life to him, to surrender all to him, to pray, to fast, to read the word of God, to lay down your life and see and pick up your cross daily and follow after Jesus. If you get left behind, it is because of you. Do you understand? You cannot blame God. You cannot get mad at God. You have been warned and you are being warned right now not to take the microchip, the RFID chip, there it is right here. It's almost as big as, um, it's almost if there's a, a rice, a grain of rice, this is the microchip. It's almost as, as small as a grain of rice. It'll change your DNA. It'll completely change your DNA. And you're going to become like the seed of the serpent, which is the devil. And you will no longer be made in the image of God. You will no longer be able to ask for forgiveness. Your whole mind, body, and spirit, and DNA will be changed. I don't even believe you'll be able to remember God because you'll belong to, you'll be one of Satan's, you know, um, troops. You will no longer be in the army of God. You will be in the army of Satan. And your eternal destiny will be burning in hell. And hell is very real, just like heaven is. And I don't care who disagrees on that either. But let me finish what the word of God says in Revelation 13. So he said he causes all both small and great, rich and poor, free and slave to receive the mark on their right hands or on their foreheads. And that no one may buy or sell except the one who has the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Guys, it is all over the news. Please, I got to go cook dinner. Um, please, please get right with God. Please, there is no more time. If you don't, do not know, oh, there's so many signs. If you don't know, August 21st is the great solar eclipse. Um, many states during the day are going to, there's going to be like night. It's going to turn into night for several minutes. This has not happened for over a hundred years. Those aren't open. Um, is it open? Let me see. Let me see. Do not mess with that. I'm sorry, my baby. Um. Um, August 21st, which is a Monday is my, I think my son's first day back to school, um, down here is going to be the great solar eclipse that's going to go right across the United States. It hasn't happened. I say hi. Hi. It has, hi, Jesus. This isn't, you know, that's not Jesus. I'm making a video about Jesus. Okay. Get up. Please. But it's a, it's a, it's a Cheeto. 
It's a Cheeto? Yeah. You look like a Cheeto. Okay? <laughs> so. Yeah, you look like a Cheeto. Cheeto. Okay. Shh. Mommy's making a video, Mommy's please. In a minute. So, um, anyways, I'm sorry, guys. So. No. August 21st is a great solar eclipse. It hasn't happened in more than 100 years. We've already had four blood moons through 2014 and 2015. Um, there has been other blood moons sighted. And in, in the word of God, in the book of Joel, in Matthew, it says that before the day of the Lord, the moon shall turn blood red and the sun shall be blackened. And that the blood red moons have already happened. The sun, the solar eclipse has, uh, it will be happening October, or excuse me, August 21st. And if you don't know about the other celestial sign, it's, um, it's September 23rd of this year. Um, about the woman and the man child and the woman giving birth, which talks about it in Revelation 12. Or is it 17, if I'm not mistaken? Hold on. I'm right here by Revelation 12, which is, stop, um, nine, t stop, baby. The woman and the child and the dragon. It's the Revelation 12 sign that is happening in the skies. Guys, judgment is coming. Jesus is coming. You don't want to get left behind. Please ready yourselves. And do, if you do find yourself left behind, Jesus wants me to tell you that don't lose all hope. You're going to have to be beheaded. You're going to have to die. You're going to have to become a martyr for Christ. But there is still hope. It's going to be hard, way harder than it is now, but there is still hope. If you find yourself left behind, do not take this mark. Do not under any circumstances. Do not. I don't care how hard it gets. I don't care if you're living in the woods hiding. I don't care if you're starving or dying of thirst or being beaten. If, you've, if you're being held captive, no. die. No. You'll go to heaven. If you take that mark, you can never repent and you'll go to hell. God bless you guys. Um, let me end this in prayer. Father God, I just pray that these words will get out to souls. Father, I pray souls will be saved. I pray, Father, that you will just awaken the masses, Father. I can feel it in my spirit, Lord, that you are coming quickly. We know that you are coming for your bride, oh, Father God. But we also know that this is going to be the greatest time upon earth. That when you pull your bride out, Father. That when you pull your bride out, Father, there's going to be a mighty, mighty revival. It's going to be a great harvest of souls, Father. And I pray, Father, that you will just continue to pour out your root Holy spirit upon this earth. I pray, like it says in the in your word says before, it says that your word never returns void, Father. That you will, that in the book of Joel, it says that you will pour out your Holy Spirit upon all flesh. It doesn't just mean us Christians. It means even those that are lost, even those that are unbelieving, even those that mock and scoff you, Lord Jesus. I pray, Father, that you would just continue to pour out your Holy Spirit upon all flesh. I pray that you will continue to draw people unto you while we still have daylight, while we still have another day. Father, you have been merciful unto us to give us another day to repent, to give us another day to turn to you, to give us another day, Father, to preach the gospel and to warn others of what's coming. Father, I pray that you will awaken hearts, that you will remove the spiritual veil, the darkness, the darkness veil that the enemy has planted over so many people's eyes and ears spiritually. I pray spiritually that you will remove Move that by your Holy Spirit, Lord, so that people can hear and see the times that we are living in, Lord Jesus. Oh, Father, pour out your Holy Spirit, Lord Jesus. I pray that souls will be saved. Draw them into your kingdom, Father. Let the warnings go out, Lord Jesus. Let them go upon ears that are hearing. Father, help the people to look up. Help the people to seek you. I pray that you will wake up the lukewarm pastors and our lukewarm brothers and sisters that are still within the church oh father god oh father have mercy upon our nation have mercy upon this world oh father for we have turned our backs against you we have turned away from your holy commandments and your holy laws and we have built up our pride and think that we know the best way to go and father we have turned against you in your ways oh father have mercy i'm asking you for mercy for it says in your word that the prayers of the righteous that the prayers of the righteous stop please that the prayers of the righteous availeth much, Lord. And we know that as we cry out to you. Stop, please. We know that the prayers of the righteous availeth. Thank you. We know that the prayers of the righteous. Stop, please. I'm in the middle of prayer. We know that the prayers of the righteous availeth much, Lord. Peace be still. Stop.
And I thank you, Lord Jesus. I'm going to go ahead and end this, but I just thank you, Father. Let souls be saved, Lord Jesus. Let this warning get out to as many people as it can. I plead the blood of Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ, over this message. Let people hear it. Let people heed its warnings, Father, if they find themselves left behind. Let not many people take the mark of the beast, oh, Father God. Wake them up before it's too late, Lord. We praise and we worship your holy name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you guys. Jesus is coming soon. Repent. Get right. Pray. I love you in the Lord. This is a serious message. Do not take the mark of the beast. One more time. I'll show it before I go. This is the mark of the beast. Right here. This right here. It's all over the news today. Look on Facebook. Look on Google. About that Wisconsin computer company. Will be starting in August. I said August. Microchipping Microchip. their employees. It's been around for several years, but now they're bringing it out to condition the masses. Do you understand? This is the mark yes, of the beast. It's almost, it's a little bit bigger than a grain of rice. Do not take this mark. You will go to hell for eternity. You must die for Christ instead. If you find yourself in the great tribulation. This also can be a pot. This is a definite possibility, but they could also put this little microchip tattoo on your forehead right here. Do not take these things on your skin or under your skin. Jesus is coming. God bless you. Shalom. Shalom.